Hello, my name is Tanya. I'm 28 years old. My business is Adrena's. I started it um, approximately a year ago. Um, it's a retail bakery which sells gourmet cakes. Let me tell you a bit about my shop. Um, it's called Adrena's, as I said. Um, we specialise in cupcakes, but we also sell cookies, croissants, you can have a flavoured latte if you've never tried one. I recommend the vanilla. Starting my own company, it was extremely hard, but it was well worth it. Um, it's a lot of emotional strain, as well as learning new skills about how to keep financial records. But once you've learnt it and you've got it down, and if you've got a lot of family and friends to support you, you, you know, you fly. I have only been running my business at home for eight months and I know it does seem like a small amount of time to see if you want to expand. The workload I couldn't handle so I had to expand and I feel like there's times when you, when you, ha you have no choice. Um, with the shop, the shop is very new, it opened only a month ago but um, already we're, we feel at home in the community, people have just welcomed us. My ambitions for the shop in the next few years is to really put Adrena's on the map. Um, I'm looking into marketing techniques, I'm looking into bringing new flavours. Um, it's a different concept to bring into Enfield because you normally see these kind of shops in the West End. So I sort of see myself as bringing West End flavours to the north and eventually east and south of London. I dropped out of uni when I was about 19 and became a mother, but I didn't let that hold me back. Um, I started studying food. I, I went to college and studied on how I could become a chef. Um, so I, I was always on the go, always learning new skills, and I found out that I enjoyed it a lot and built a business on it. I did look into whether or not I should go for funding. I looked at how much I would have to pay back, um, how long it would take me to pay it back. So what I decided to do was discuss with my family first and show them my business plan and see what they thought. And I was quite lucky that a lot of family members invested in me because they believed in my idea. Opening any type of business is a risk. But with my business, with the cakes and cookie industry, it does tend to thrive in times like this. People are turning to sweet things to sort of bring their spirits up. It is a big risk, but I'm very happy that I've taken that risk and I believe that I can make a big success of it. When you work for yourself, you feel such achievement. You feel when somebody's eating something that you've created, you get a sense of pride, um, it's, it's hard to explain but you do feel like this natural high. The best advice I can give somebody who wants to start their own business is to research, research, research and write the best business plan that they possibly can. With research and planning you can't go wrong. There's so many places out there, there's so many resources and business libraries use them to your advantage because most of them are free. When it comes to business, networking is also very important. Um, you know, family, friends, the support that they can give you as well as promoting you as well. Um, but it's not just about family and friends. When you're running your own business, you do get to meet a lot of people and it's very important to build on those relationships and strengthen them you know, your business, without your customers, your business does not exist. So it's your sole ambition to keep your customers happy. When I was younger, did I imagine owning my own business? Um, not really, actually. Um, when I was younger, I was such a creative person. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I used to always question myself, what, 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 what would I do? And while thinking about it, I used to bake a cake to calm me down, which is really funny about what career choice I've chosen. I never thought that I'd bake professionally. I never thought I'd do anything to do with cooking as a career. But um, it's something that I've got so much passion for and I can't see myself doing anything else.